Så här ska inte... Sweden has its first female prime minister. The new leader of the Social Democrats party, Magdalena Andersson, received a vote of confidence on Wednesday. It follows the resignation of Stefan Löfven two weeks ago. Our reporter, Per Berg for Nyberg, has the details. Magdalena Andersson received a standing ovation here in Parliament today when she was approved as the country's first female Prime Minister 100 years after women were first allowed to vote here in Sweden. And this was a moment of huge historic significance, and especially for young girls growing up here in Sweden today, knowing that the glass ceiling has been broken and that anything is possible for both boys and girls. Sweden is the last among the Nordic countries to actually have a female Prime Minister since Denmark, Norway, Iceland, Finland, they've all had a woman at the top of government. But it wasn't until this very morning that Anderson knew that she would have the backing of parliament. Late last night, she secured a deal with the left party about uh, raising pensions, and that way she secured the support of that party. And then this morning, the center party said it would also not vote against her, which meant that Anderson won the vote with just one vote's margin. However, later today, though, she's expected to lose a vote concerning the government's budget, which will mean that on the same day that she's elected the new prime minister, she will also be forced to rule using the conservative opposition's budget. Now, on Friday, Magdalena Andersson will assume her new role as prime minister during a ceremony at the royal palace with the Swedish king. Per Berg for Schneiberg, Euronews, Stockholm, Sweden.